Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Option Pit. Dot com. I'm having some kind of weird formatting stuff. I don't know what it is. Anyway, welcome um, to the morning uh, volatility report as I am Giovanazzi, Chief Operating Officer of said company. Uh, trailing da trading daily options. We will be doing a paid webinar on Saturday, the 24th uh, of September. Okay. If you want to, again, understanding how to use these short term options, I think they're going to be. We're going to see them listed on most major equities probably within a year, maybe less. Uh, they're doing well in the SPX, doing well in the SPY. Liquidity is pretty good. Doing much better than the weeklies. And now, I'm sorry, not better than the weeklies than the minis. Let's just say that. All right. This webinar Mark did last night is free. Check it out. You're going to learn something. Okay. Uh, ah, already 213 reads. He posted it last night. Nice. All right. Uh, if you want to sign up for set events, 167 bucks. You sign up for Option Pit Live, you get this event for free. Great deal, right? Education here is a good deal. Okay, let's talk about, and we'll talk about educating here. We'll talk about uh, VIX. So there's, uh, this is what I say is kind of a strange confluence right now. You've got Index is up, I think, mostly on the strength of Apple. Okay, just dragging everything higher because of iPhone 7 sales. Apple's like the guy, it's like almost the classic rope. Oh, everything, everybody hates a phone, and then it just launches like crazy because it has a lot of people that like it. Uh, where are you seeing strength? Banks. Okay. Um, where you're not seeing strength is here. For whatever reason, this, it, it again, still rates, market's still controlled by the Fed. I think Mark had a great uh, comment, the Fed is vol, and it is, okay? Almost all the volatility right now is being driven by Fed announcements. It's the weirdest thing, but that's what it is. So this is how you read what's going on. VIX cash is dropping. We're going into a weekend. VIX at 18 and change yesterday was pretty high, okay? That's number one. Which means the at the money vol, we're starting to just see some contraction, some weekend effect coming in. They're taking the vol down. Number two, you look at a product like UVXY and where is VXX? Up slightly because the vol futures are all up slightly. Okay? They were up more earlier. Okay? If we look at our active SEP and the active OP, OC, they were up a little bit this morning. They are now actually drifting a little lower. For stuff for our strategy letter, I would like to get rid of some of our upside. Start to reduce this morning. Because the reality is, if the Fed actually is vol, they're going to say something on Wednesday, and then we're going to sit around for a month, right? just like we did the month before and the month before. Until we start getting some earnings or something happens, I think part of this, there's a, like a little thing, because Hillary was kind of a lock for the election, right? not being political, but just... That's if they're thinking that she is the statistical favorite. Okay, everybody kind of knows what to expect. Now all of a sudden she got sick. I think that might have been a little part of the vol, but we're not seeing enough. We're not seeing enough action really in the S and P 500. Nobody's really getting behind it, and also, but there's nobody selling it either. So, so the futures should hold up. Okay, should hold up a little bit. As the cash VIX declines through the weekend, but the futures will hold up a little bit because of the uncertainty around Wednesday. And then after Wednesday, I have where I don't see how we hold the 18 and a half if we don't get any movement out of the S&P 500. So what should happen is if the market doesn't move, the cash will decline because we're moving into the weekend. VIX is pretty expensive if nothing happens, right? You know, we've had some volatility early in the week, but it's starting to dissipate now. You got dissipation, vol has to come in, okay? But the futures are going to stay bid because they're going to hold that level because of whatever the Fed expectation is. So they're going to kind of stick around that level. Everything is fairly flat, right? You have, I'm looking, you know, almost 18, Okay, expiring in our normal cycle. 
which is pretty, again, that's holding up. I still think that's a pretty high number. But it's also saying this is not expecting much out of VIX until Wednesday, right? Because you've got the FOMC on Wednesday. So trading the VIX has been trading the calendar, if you want to think about it like that. The thing is you have to prepare for after. So all the all of the things that we've been looking at, we've been looking at vol compression after, not necessarily vol compression before. I think right now you hold on to some long vol because you could see a bit up. Okay? But that's the effect of what's going on right now. So if you're looking for vol to collapse big prior to Wednesday, I think that's going to be tougher. It's not that it can't happen. I think it's going to be tougher. So the futures are going to hang around. You mean too early to sell what? I think butterflies, iron condors, and the big index is okay. I think a regular butterfly. Uh, we'll talk about that. It just depends on what you mean by selling premium, Andrew. I think the call spreads and things we own, I like to get rid of most of them today. Just we need to unwind those things. Okay, because you're catching a bid. When you're long vol, you sell into the rally. That's what we got. Uh, as far as individual names, as long as the banks continue to look okay, they were, it's still, you know, there's still a little funk here. Okay? They're not really, we're not, you know, vol's not moving much. Again, I don't expect vol to move too much until next week. Back here, you've got volatility expiring today, but these are, you know, it's it's still moving around in week. Apple, for whatever reason, is going up. It's been up for four straight days. I think it was, what, it was 104 or 103 not very long ago. I just stay out of the way. All right, we thought at, at some point it would slow down, but right now it's not. The most interesting trade I saw yesterday in Apple, by the way, kind of a little vote of confidence. Okay. I saw the 130 calls. In Apple, okay, trading from six cents to twenty-six cents, somebody bought a hundred thousand calls. Okay, so right now they're doing okay. So somebody somewhere <laughs> thinks Apple can make a move. So we'll see how far it goes. All right, everybody, with that, I will see you in our chat room shortly.